it is like fully winter time out here. I mean, halfway through March and it's supposed to be 60 on Friday, but we've got like crazy, crazy windy and just like squalls just out of nowhere, like whiteout conditions. What's going on? Anyway, it's March and it's snowing. So, hey, it is what it is, but it is cold out here. It is not pleasant. Trim trees back there. Hopefully they grow in this year, we'll see. Heavy Saturday from the basement. This is something that uh, we need to work on and ever since that we've moved in, we've just kind of been packing stuff down here. You can kind of see there's a lot of stuff and it looks way more full than it really does. So ever since we moved in, the basement's been a bit of a contention and uh, it's a spring project. So I want to kind of sneak peek some stuff beforehand. Get the fish tank in the back. Tons of kids toys just piled in and this is kind of the start of what it's gonna look like down here when I'm done. But yeah, that's what we're working on. A little sneak peek. The mess that it is and what it's gonna look like when I'm done. There's the old computer. Yeah, it's just been, it's an old house and it's just accumulated crap. Like what else is basements, what else do basements do? So that's what we're working on. Um, but I'm gonna save that surprise for later. I'll show you some other stuff that I'm working on today. So this is an old PC that I have um, laying around and something I really want to start working on is setting up what's called network attack, attached storage in my house. It's called a NAS. And uh, I was experimenting with true NAS, which I will do a video on my thoughts on that. I'm definitely a novice, but if you're trying to do some network attached storage, I really like true NAS. Unraised one that I looked at too, that I'm pretty excited about. But one terabyte, HDD, and then I've got a one terabyte SDD. Uh, these are just a little cheaper, um, a little bit more prevalent. Uh, I'm just curious to see if you can do it, which you can. But um, in order to make this work, I need this cool adapter here. And uh, fun fact, you can get these adapters that go USB. All right? Let's see if I can get in there. Yep, USB. USB to S SSD. Pretty cool. Let me move here. So, uh, what I needed to do is I want to hook this into the SATA cable that's straight to the motherboard. But the big problem was I only had one of um, the powers, the ICT powers. So, what I want to do is I want to put this in here, but I didn't have the right power cable, which, if you know anything about SATA powered stuff, or SATA devices rather. I only have one of these, and I have this little guy here. Which again, I'm just learning as I go here. It's purely a hobbyist. Um, but yeah, another power uh, cable. One of the issues I was having, and the reason I ended up trying this, just to prove that my true NAS would work, is I've got a slimline SATA cable and a regular SATA power cable here. And um, yeah, my SSD has needs SATA power. So I got a cool splitter, so I'm gonna hook that in. It basically turns this into two SATA power cables so that I can wire everything in internally and don't have to run it off of an eternal, external USB uh, card. So let's, or USB cord, duh. Let's get it hooked up. So this is the power SATA cable. Uh, this is the end that goes into the existing cable. And this is gonna take SATA power to the HDD and to the SSD. So let's go plug that in. Okay, so got my Splitter all hooked up. Got the SSD in and the HDD. Fire up and uh, double check everything works. Mm. 
I'm also super excited about this. So I ship a lot of stuff and I also sell stuff on eBay. And I've been wanting one of these and got some help from my mom. She thought she had one laying around. I didn't, but she shipped one from Amazon for me. So thanks mom, appreciate it. Now I can really get shipping, but seriously, these are so much better when you have to pack up a bunch of boxes. I had the plastic ones, I really just like something that can use the regular roll of tape, um, but also has got some of the other features. You're packing up a lot of boxes, so. Thanks, this is awesome. What's up, coming from the basement. I'll be honest, Saturdays are crazy. What is up with being parents and like, I'm fearful of the weekends. Is that just me? I don't know. But weekends are one of those things where it's there's no there's no childcare. And I am terrified of the weekends. Um, they're so long, so stressful. Uh, and it's one of those things where at the end of a Saturday night, it's like you really should spend time with your spouse. But I also wanted some time myself come across this. I don't know if any of you have ever played No Man's Sky. I wish I could say I don't play video games, but I'm obsessed with them. I don't play them often. But I want to play them more, but I just have so much going on. But I can't stop playing this one. You guys should check this out. No Man's Sky. It's crazy. 2016, so it's an older one, but it's space. It's Star Citizen came out, but this is so much better. Um, but yeah, it's been a crazy day. Snow, Weiss car broke down. Had to get it in, it was brake problems. Had to get it in to get fixed today. Um, not really, didn't really do much. It's just, everybody's been in the way, doing stuff for everyone, getting things done that just need to get done when you have a family. Wish I could say I had more more to do or gotten more done this weekend, but it didn't, it happens. These days are gonna happen, that's why I'm recording it. Um, I wish every day was 100% progress, but Things ebb and flow, and I need to remind myself of that, and you should be reminded of that as well. But thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.